You not! Oh, Dren! Piss off out of here. You're talking to an elder. So show a little respect, you prick licker. Respect for you? This is no place for crappers like you. Out, I said. Aye, true. Join the pigs in the pen, that's your place. Best leave. Old Maverick ain't a good companion. Unless you're looking for someone to mock. What I saw back there, that happen often? What's the problem? I've bigger problems to deal with than the camp tramps. My nightmares have invaded my waking life. The spectres haunt and hunt me by day. Come on. Nightmares are common. Start at the beginning. One night, I walked to the riverside and sat there, staring at the stars. I must have fallen asleep. I dreamt of my birdie, her milk-white bosom, her gentle voice. I saw and heard her as if she sat beside me, and then that voice became a terrifying whisper. It curdled the blood in my veins. I opened my eyes, but the specter remained. It went on talking, hovering over me, stretching its mitts out towards me. I felt a deathly chill, and then it happened. What? Never been a coward. At the fore and fierce in many battles. But a human's one thing. A specter's another. No other way to put this. I shit myself. Out of fear. Pants right full by the time I got back to camp. Since then, they mock me. Call me the crapper. I didn't see anyone mocking you. Well, except for those two drunks. Then you haven't looked around well enough. I'm the laughing stock of the entire camp. Why did you go to the beach? During Hensel's last expedition, we stayed in a house there. My unit was on the lookout for Demaven's forces trying to cross the river. I just wanted to recall the old times. So you took part in the campaign three years ago? Took part? I barely escaped with my life. Leva, the brothel medic, saved me. Talk to her if you want to learn more. She knows everything about the camp. What time did the Spectre appear? I went to the beach after my watch, so it must have been an hour before midnight. I've no idea how long I slept, but when I reached the camp, it was dawning in the east. I'll deal with the Spectre, but you should know a witch's services don't come cheap. My soldier's pay is meager. Got but a few coins in my pouch and some pipeweed. Will you do it for that? All right. I had a mate from Rivia. Was they killed him? Oh, oh, Still man. looking for coins. What else am I to do? This mist drives me crazy. Oh, Here, boy. Oh, Not another fucking stone. Life can be really strange. I fought the Nilfgaardians a few years back. Now we make Are you Leva? If you've got a growth of some sort and you're here for the salve, get in line. Nothing of the sort this time. You were here during Hensel's previous expedition. What of it? I have some questions. Be quick. Half of Henset's nobility's waiting for this salve. They've all started pissing blood out of longing for the spouses they left at home. 
The ravines around the camp, they don't look like they were shaped by nature. They're proof of the great power sorceresses can summon. Sabrina's fireballs scarred the ground for many miles around the battlefield. I'm interested in that tower. It's the remnant of a mana sacked long ago. They call it the Tower of Debauchery, since Madame Carol made camp at its foot. Did many soldiers survive the battle three years ago? But a handful. The rest were just vaporized. Those who could walk dragged those who couldn't. All the survivors were horribly burned. Three years back it was the home of Malgut, a healer and his family. While he helped us tend the wounded, someone murdered his children. Malgut couldn't come to terms with the tragedy and threw himself into the river. The children were buried behind the house. Their graves should still be there. I'll let you get back to treating all those brave fighting men. Alright, Witcher 2, Assassins of Kings, Chapter 2. Vernon Roachpath. This is the quest of the Little Sisters, as you may have already figured out from the opening part there. I kind of just didn't want to talk over the, the whole talking and story building aspect of that, this quest, so I just thought to jump in here. This is a real long video, as people can figure out. That's all I gotta say about that. Uh, I'm going the wrong direction here. I'm trying to find the house on the... Oh wait, no, I am going the right direction. I'm sorry. I'm looking for the cottage near the cliffs. Cliffs, I think. Cliffs, ravine, lake, river, something. There's a cottage overlooking the water. It's up on a hill. So, if you go inside the little house, there's kind of nothing. Like, absolutely nothing. Fortunately, that button prompt gave away, like, probably a secret that's mandatory for finishing the quest. So, I'm examining all the graves here, and remember the symbols from left to right. Trust me, you'll see in a minute. Okay, so you have the three graves, and then there's a fourth grave over here. The graves of the graves are all the people or the graves are the family who used to live in that house. So you have the little point of interest here that tells you to cast the art sign and break the barrels. I almost hit boxes for a second. And what do you know, a secret trapdoor. That leads to a simple puzzle. Now, if you look at them, there are some sticks kind of tied together in certain patterns. Oh, I don't know, say similar to the ones on the gravestones. So, get this puzzle right and a secret passage will open. Get the puzzle wrong, and a wraith will show up and attack you. And... If you're trying this on your own, you... I mean, you can always just try every possible combination. There's not that many. You only have three possible choices. Not three choices. You only have three things to light, so... It's not like you have this giant number of combinations you can possibly have. So, you also just started a quest called From a Bygone Era. Don't bother with that quest. Um, it's something that it has to do with something later in the game involving armor. So, yeah, that note looked like a whole lot of gibberish. So, the thing is about, about those notes, uh, n not the. It might be the same set of notes. But it'll tell you to talk to Death Mold about them. And when you do, he's going to ask you to sell them to him. I wouldn't suggest selling them to him. 
because if you don't you will not be able to get I don't think you'll be able to do part of a quest in chapter 3 so I suggest keeping the notes because you have to give them to someone to translate if you want to sell them I don't know how much money he gives you maybe not very much You're not the now one uh, another thing about this quest that I may have forgot to mention was that impossible I want there to are wash his pants. like five different ways this quest can end one of them being bad, as in an actual you failed this quest. The others being you don't get the full story behind it. This is the one that gets you the full story. Because right here, you can accuse the wraiths of lying and just kill them. Which ends the quest and you get like a third of the reward. So, you need to tell the specter that you will look into what she, what she tells you. So then you need to go talk to Maverick again. The guy who gave you the quest. And he's going to explain a little bit more about what's going on, but not everything. You managed to do anything with you. So you need to convince him to, to go you with you to the beach. Some interesting things in the cellar. I know nothing to, of that. And don't wish to, to confront know the spirits themselves. I just want to be rid of that phantom. I can't help you so, if you don't tell me the truth. I don't think you really need to if do I much to convince him, but folks say that old Malgit conspired with the river demons. So much blood has flowed down the Pontar. It's the evil in it that the beings in the river's depths feed on. That's all I know, truly. Have you managed to do anything with you? Alright, so... The specters manifest yeah, themselves uh, even choose the absent. top choice there. They burrow deep into your subconscious. If I killed them now, they'd return into I think here, so if you tell him you don't them. need him, I think he dies. No and way. that's why you failed the quest. What would you ask of me? Meet me at the beach so, an hour before midnight. So, yeah. This is definitely one of this is definitely an interesting quest just in the different ways it can end, especially because you just don't know. Like unless you unless you look it up beforehand, like I didn't realize that there was more to the story when I first played it. I actually um just told just said the race I just accused the race of lying, fought them, and then just ended it. I didn't realize that there was a lot more to this so that's that's probably why this quest is interesting it, it, it gives some backstory to the area it explains some things more or less you finally returned brother so I think you have another uh, Pretty sure right about here is when you get another chance to let Maverick die. I think you can just kind of let the wraiths do what they will with him. But uh, stick by him. You'll find out what actually. You'll find out the whole story about the area. What? What are they talking about? The Spectres say you're their brother, and you murdered them three years ago. What do you say? How can you even ask? I'm a soldier, not a murderer! So yeah, that, that second option right there. Denying it is not enough. You need to definitely. prove your innocence, and I need to know the truth before I make my choice. I never murdered anyone! It was really obvious I'm a that soldier. I that would foes. cause some problems. Not women. I'll take your word over that of evil spirits. Now help me. So now you get a, an ally in this fight, and I believe you have to fight three kind of powered up versions of Wraiths. 
They may have different names, but that's how they move. That's how they fight. So it's not too hard. Or it probably shouldn't be all that difficult. If you're having trouble, go try and get a better silver sword. Maybe level up, do another quest or something. I actually do almost die, as you can know, or as you can see. Yeah. That's because I'm still wearing the Karen armor, and I have not leveled up, or I haven't given any skill points out since I was in Chapter 1 still. So either way, I'm going to end here, and you can get the... Don't you owe me an explanation. I want to hear the truth. I was born by the very border. General van der Grift understood that I knew every blade of grass here. So he appointed me lead scout. We were based in my family's house. This house? One day I scouted beyond the river. When I returned, I found my father digging the graves behind the house. What happened? Honor was everything to him. He had brought us up, taught us principles. And then one day, Adernian soldiers arrived and undid all that. Shamed his children. He could not stop himself. He swore he did not do it, but there was blood in his clothes. We fought. He fell from the cliff. Why did the Spectres want your soul? Maybe they have no tolerance for patricide. Maybe. Now go back to camp and present proof of your valor. Take back your dignity. <laughs>